What's going on you guys? So I'm sure you've heard of HD clamps for charge pipes. Basically it's a way to connect your intercooler pipe without a coupler and it's got a clamp on it to help prevent it from popping off. Now I have one here that I picked up from eBay and it was about $25. So normally when you see these they're going for over $100 easy. $120 to $150 for one of these. So I figured $25 bucks, I'm I think it's worth the shot of buying it just to see the quality at least and if it works it works if not it doesn't it was 25 bucks but uh yeah I have one right here so I'm gonna go through give you guys a little bit of a review on it see how good the fitment is and then we're also gonna go ahead and actually weld this on to an aluminum charge pipe and a cast turbo housing yeah I'm about to attempt to weld a super cheap eBay flange onto a four thousand dollar turbo Well, good thing about aluminum is uh, if it doesn't work, you can always just cut it off and weld something better on, so. Let's get into this thing and take a look at it. So the way these clamps are designed is that you have two flanges, a sleeve in the center, and then a band that holds them. And once the band is put on, they cannot come out. So the pin is not a bad pin, it's actually super easy to use, goes in and out really smooth, or just as smooth as some of the other ones I've used. The actual band is actually uh, not bad material, I mean comparison wise it's, it seems to be similar quality to like a Vibrant or Plasma Man or Jags or any of those. The flange finish is pretty well deburred. I don't see any major issues with the flanges. They seem to be flat and square. Now one big difference I do notice between these are the seals. So these seals are absolutely tiny in comparison. So when these go on, these are going to be stretched on quite a bit here. Now one thing I've noticed with using like vibrant flanges or plasma man flanges of similar styles is that you know they are kind of a pain in the ass to use and the biggest issue is getting this ring over here so ideally what I do is I lubricate these seals up but still they can be very difficult to get this ring on sideways because it's gonna want to twist or walk off or push over and it can be very difficult to get the clamp on while holding this in place so I'm gonna lube these o-rings up real quick and we will see how difficult it is to get the sleeve on and then the collar for it. All right, so I got my extreme pressure lube number three here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit on here. This stuff is like really thick right now because it's been sitting out in the garage in the winter. So it's got a really thick viscosity right now. Usually this is much, much thinner, but we're just gonna have to work with this as it is right now. So we got our O-rings lubed up. All right, wipe a little bit on the inside of here. Try not to bend this. If you bend, try not to bend this. If you uh, get this bent, it'll make your life even more difficult than it's already going to be because these things are not easy to put on. You gotta fight them because you can already see how it's wanting to walk on crooked. And then when you go to bring this side on, it's gonna wanna push the other side off. And you gotta make sure you're not pinching your O-rings or rolling the O-rings off when you do it. And you can see as I'm going on, it's wanting to come off on the other side. So these can be very difficult and tedious to put on. This isn't just necessarily this clamp either, it's this style. I have this issue with doing all of these style clamps, so, but so far, I mean, that O-ring goes on pretty much the same as like a Vibrant or Plasma Man does. Not saying it's more difficult or easier, it's a pain in the ass regardless. And then this goes up, pin in, 
and it's got a nice tight fit. So once those O-rings are in there, this thing cannot leak and it cannot come apart without taking this band off. So, so far, the actual quality of this looks just as good as any of the other more expensive ones I've seen so far. The O-rings do seem a little bit cheaper though. So far the actual quality of this thing is pretty impressive for being $25. But now we're going to give it the real test and that is how clean and how good this actual aluminum material is. I know the vibrant ones actually weld super clean, but I've gotten some cheap china stuff like this before and it doesn't want to weld very good at all. So the way we're going to test that, I have my three and a half inch charge pipes that are for my car and the actual ID on this fits very well in there. So the actual measurements on these and you know, three and a half inch flange fits right in the machine channel for the pipe to fit into. So that's good. So we're gonna weld one flange onto our tube. I do have to pull the charge pipe off the car to fit and weld onto. And then the other flange, we are going to cut off the V-band from this compressor housing and weld one of these onto it. So I know that Garrett compressor housings are very, very clean material and they weld super nice. So if there are any issues with fusing this aluminum to this aluminum, it's definitely gonna be in here because I have really good rod. <laughs> rod. So if there are any issues with welding this aluminum to this aluminum, I know it's gonna be here. Uh, the material doesn't look too bad, but I wouldn't be surprised. So I'm gonna take this over into the shop next door, get this cut off, and then weld one of these flanges on. After this flange is welded onto here, then I gotta fit the pipe to weld the other one on. So I have successfully welded the flanges to the turbocharger compressor housing and the charge pipes. The material was fine. There was nothing really wrong with the material. Now those flanges, when you go to actually assemble and clamp them together when they have the O-rings on them, they are a pain in the ass. Um, they are not designed to be like a quick disconnect, super easy thing to do. If you're looking for something that's fast and easy to put together, just stick with regular couplers and then maybe do a tie bar across the top of them to hold them together to prevent them from popping apart. 
That would be my suggestion because these are kind of a pain to get on and off. Now it's not just this specific brand that makes them difficult to get on and off. They're all like that. I've used the Vibrant ones, Plasma Man, Jegs, these, and then a couple other knockoff versions very similar to these. I'm pretty sure they're all the same made over in China because uh, I looked for it, but I couldn't find them recently, but you can, if you can find them, you can actually get those clamps in bulk from AliExpress for like $5 a piece. And I'm, I'm not joking, I, I actually have a couple samples. So I actually have some three inch ones right here that I bought probably about a year ago off AliExpress, they were, they were five bucks a pop and uh, I just kind of bought them as samples to see how good they were. I don't know why I bought three inch and not three and a half. I don't really have anything that runs three inch, but yeah, these were five bucks a piece and it, it's the same thing. Now, I don't believe that Vibrant uses these. I think they make their own or have somebody else manufacture them because these, if you get them with logos, they're just laser etched and Vibrants are actually like CNC machined in there. Now, whether or not they're using these, I mean, the only difference that I've seen is the O-ring, really. I think that the bands on Vibrance are smooth as well, where these have like a rib on them. They might not be though, I don't, I don't really remember. But to be totally honest, for easy availability, and they're 25 to $30 on eBay, depending on what size you get, I have no complaints. Like, like it's not a complex part. It's not like a wastegate where you have stuff that's like, crazy thermal critical, it's it's literally just machined aluminum and a clamp. Like it's it's something that's hard. It'd be very difficult to mess this up and do it incorrectly and it, it works and it's cheap, like stupid cheap. The only difference is you're not gonna have a fancy name brand on there. But if you're like me and you would rather spend that extra hundred dollars on you know two gallons of gas right now then you know maybe it's worth it save your money but like 25 bucks for a billet hd clamp that works o-rings questionable who knows time will tell on that but o-rings are really really easy to get if you need to replace them or upgrade them I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this product a thumbs up because it works, it welded super clean, and it functions exactly as it should. So, $25 eBay HD clamps. 10 out of 10, yeah, would recommend. Anyways, you guys, a little product review and an install. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. So, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow the build of my Mustang along. We're gonna be getting back to that. I have parts ordered to build a custom aluminum exhaust for it and hopefully we will be getting this thing back on the dyno sometime soon but as for now that's it for this one so till the next one i'll catch you guys later